Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Today represents an opportunity to be a turning point in America. This is the longest sentence that a police officer has ever been sentenced to in the history of the state of Minnesota. But this should not be the exception when a black person is killed by brutality by police. It should be the norm. And so when we think about real justice, real justice would be Silky that George Floyd would still be here with his family. So what we got today was some measure of accountability. And we understand that there are still federal charges pending. So as his brothers and his family ask for the maximum, we're still holding out for the maximum. That's right. We have to remember real justice in America will be black men and black women and people of color will not have to fear being killed by the police just because the color of their skin. Yes. That would be real justice. Yes. So we so on behalf of the Floyd family, we want to say thank you to millions of Americans who all said until we get justice for George Floyd, until we get accountability for George Floyd, none of us can breathe. We can breathe just a little easier today, and we thank you for that. Um, so let me tell you, Gianna, you've done two things in this case. You started by saying, my daddy changed the world. Yes. Yep. I want you to know you changed the world. That's hard. Because today, that statement that you gave was not just powerful, but it was prophetic. You told us that his spirit is still here. That's right. So we are looking for leadership. We are looking for the spirit of George Floyd, which is in every single person now. We are getting off the sidelines and realizing that if you critique policing, it doesn't mean you hate every cop. It means you want the bad cops gone. Yes. And we only will change things by leaving the sidelines and coming together in the middle, no matter what color you are. And that is the spirit of George Floyd. We knew from day one he murdered George Floyd. We all saw it. But we had to go through this for a year to get to this point where this family can have some modicum, some amount of closure a year. So I'll say this, until black and brown people in this country can get closure, can depend on the justice system, can know that when someone murders somebody in broad daylight that they're going to be held accountable, we got a lot of work to do.